category. Nagayama Ryuju of Japan faces Yago Aboladze of Russia. It'll be Nagayama in the white jadugi, Aboladze in blue. This is how they got this far. Referee in the middle for this one is Vladimir Nutsubidze of Georgia. Abeladze was not one of the top seeds here this morning. However, he has fought that way. He yes. really has looked good. And I was chatting with Annette Berm earlier, and we, well, I was hinting at the possibility that Abeladze, well, he's done well here. He's in the final of the Paris Grand Slam. The only thing that he could do to really seal it would be to take the gold medal. And if he did, if he does, he will really shake things up in the under 60 kilo category with, with the Russians as far as selection is concerned. And Robert Shvidabadze, who's the incumbent, he'll be looking over his shoulder thinking, hang on a minute, I didn't see this one coming. Yes. And they've owned the under 60 kilo category in the Olympic Games for the last two cycles. It was Arsene Galsin who took the gold medal for them in London in 2012. And it was Beslan Mudranov who took the gold medal for them in 2016 in Rio. Yago Abuladze knows all of that and he'll fancy taking the, the spot to at least give them the chance in Tokyo in 2020. Anyway, we're underway now. Oh my God. 10 seconds he needs to hold him for the score. Let's see if Nagayami, Nagayama can get out of that. Look at this. Already 10. So there's a score on the board. Whatever Oof. happens here, Nagayama is going to have... What an opening is that. And, and the, the roll's not finished yet. But this time, here it is again. Oh He's stronger God. with the legs around and he can't get the legs around the, the, the head for the Sangaku. That was close. He's not finished yet. He's going to give it another go. And the thing about this is, having turned him over twice, Vladimir, Vladimir Nutsubidze, the referee in the middle, is moved to let him work, work the, the, the move because he's seen it work twice. This is incredible. Aboladze leads here in the first minute and Nagayama's just been in trouble for as, for as, as soon as they went onto the ground. I'll be interested to see what happens in the rest of the contest Absolutely. if they go to ground. Yep. Because Nagayama was, was clueless about that turnover. Yep. He was in it before he knew that he was in any trouble. <laughs> His standing work, however, is incredible. And there you go. He, well, he may just have squeezed out the Wazari. We're not in the best position mm. to see the landing here. But just as I was talking, well, they put... It's Wazari on the board. They're going to have a look at it. We weren't, we weren't in the best position to have a look, but maybe Nutsubidze, the referee, was. This is a better angle here. Yeah, right down the side. Arms good, in good, front of him. Yeah, good call from the referee. Almost. He's going to give a second score. Well, again, it will be a score that's just squeezed out. He squeezed out the first one, and he will just squeeze out yes. the second one. But it will be two scores to dash all the hopes of Aboladze, who in the first minute looked as though he was going to steal this contest. But it was a great final. Really a great final. What a shame we only had a minute and a half of it then. Yes. <laughs> and there's, well, if you can lip read Russian, you'll know what he, what he just said. <laughs> Nagayama limps off the tatami. And he came close to going out. Yeah. It was the throwing skills of Nagayama that he fell back onto. Yeah. Here's the first effort. Marotte Sernagi standing. Classical. Lovely. Just down onto his side. Mm -hmm. 
That was enough to come up with a score. And now... The second one. Lifted him up. And again, down onto his side. Ab Aboladze will feel a, a little bit... Not robbed. He would have claimed both those scores himself. Yeah. Unfortunately.